Welcome to a tutorial on Tiled. I will show you a feature called Auto Mapping. This feature can be used to speed up mapping and to reduce mistakes. It is found in the map menu down here, Auto Map. An arrow will show up and leave the map unchanged because it is not configured yet. I will demonstrate you using the Auto Mapping feature using graphics and concepts of the Mana World, an open source roleplay game. I already opened a map example Timex and added a tile set with water elements, grass elements, decoration elements. Also I added tile layers such as ground, fringe and collision. In the ground layer I will put grass elements with the fill tool. In the fringe layer I will put these decoration elements such as stones and signs. In the collision layer is not displayed by the game engine but it is used to know something about the map. So I'll put the meta tile right here to let the engine know a player should be able to walk over the sign of these stones. The goal of this tutorial is to automatically create these red square meta tiles in the collision layer whenever I create items in the fringe layer. So I don't forget to place the collision tiles in the collision layer, but they are added automatically by the auto mapping feature. Auto mapping is based on rules, which are defined in other map files. So I'll define another map file. The parameters are about to be the same as in example DMX. It's also orthogonal and the tile size matches. Just the map size is rather small since we will not put many tiles into it. At first I'll add the same tile set. Here we go, this is the same tile set. Auto mapping consists of rules and these rules are basically an input and an output in a defined region. And this region is defined in a tile layer called regions. And we want to have a region of one tile, so I put a one tile here. In this tile we'll define an auto mapping rule. It can be basically any tile from any tile set, I just chose the grass tile because it's looking nice. The region is defined by either having a tile there or no tile at all, so this is the region of our first rule. Now we want to define the input. So I'll add a new tile layer called input underscore fringe, whereas the input underscore denotes it's the input, and the fringe denotes something has to happen when we modify the fringe layer in example TMX. And in this layer, I will put a stone. Now what should happen if I put a stone in the fringe layer? Well, I'll have a new tile layer called output underscore collision. Whereas output underscore denotes something has to be put out into the working map and collision denotes it will be the collision tile layer where we put out the output. And in this layer, I will put this big red square meta tile to indicate as output we use the meta tile. Now I save the rule in the same folder as example TMX. Basically, it can be anywhere on the file system, but for this tutorial, I will put all stuff into one folder. Also, the name can be anything, so I call it rule1.tmx. Safe. But in the example TMX, we still have an error when we do map auto map. And this error tells us to set up a rules.txt file in the same folder as the example TMX is located. So I'll go into an explorer. Here we have example TMX, the rule 1 TMX, and the Tile set, 
and I will create a new standard text file called rules.txt. Okay. And within this rules.txt, we'll tell the auto mapping feature for all the maps within this directory which rules should be used for auto mapping. So I'll edit it and put the rule1.tmx here. More rules would be just in the new line such as here pass to rule2.tmx. Well, you can put slash or backslash, it doesn't care. But we don't have a rule2, so I'll delete it. We just have rule1.tmx. So, file save. Back to tiles. Let's check if it works. Example DMX is opened, map, auto map. So here we see the stone, wherever a stone is in the fringe layer, now we have this meta tile in the collision layer. Let's now also support the signs in the fringe layer. So for all the signs here and here, we want also to have the meta tile in the collision layer. So I'll get back to the rule map file. At first we'll define a region again. So I'll use the grass tile again. As said, you can use whatever tile you want to indicate the region. So it doesn't matter which tile to use. I just use it now. So I'll go here that there is a distance of at least one tile to the other rule. If we would go adjacent, such as here, 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 or here, it would be interpreted as a bigger rule of consisting of two tiles. So I'll go somewhere else with a distance of at least one tile here. Oh, we should put it in regions. The output. I'll delete it with the eraser. So. In the input fringe, we want to have the sign. And in the output, in the collision, we want to have this meta tile. Okay. I'll save it and check if it works. So, in example TMX, map, auto map, we see also the signs are covered with meta tiles indicating a player is not able to walk there. I can also delete the collision layer with the delete key and do auto map again and the auto mapping feature will automatically add all missing layers this is in our case just the collision layer the output of the two rules is actually the same it's both the big red square as a meta tile so we can actually merge the two rules into one rule to reduce work uh, effort needed for the auto mapping feature so I'll delete this uh, rule here you can have multiple different input layers so I can just clone the input fringe layer. So duplicate layer and rename it to input fringe. The names are allowed to be the same, but I'll call it rule uh, input one fringe and put the sign instead of a stone. So in this layer we'll put a sign. So we'll have the same output here and then we have a sign or a stone here. It still starts with r input so it is detected as an input layer. There is an underscore which uh, separates the layer to be checked. Here it is fringe from the starting, so it is fine. The so I'll save the rule file again and test it in example DMX. 
So I'll delete collision layer again and map auto map and it still works for both the sign and the stones in the fringe layer. I hope you enjoyed the video about the basics of auto mapping in tiles.